Hello everyone, my name is Tom Zhao and I'm a final year student at the Department of Computing at Imperial College London. I'll give a brief presentation on my accepted short paper, High Fidelity Image Synthesis from Pulmonary Nodule Lesion Maps using a Semantic Diffusion Model. Deep learning has been extensively used to detect malignant pulmonary nodules, but lack of data set with high quality annotations make it hard to train a model with high accuracy. Generative models make it possible to generate new synthetic data that fall under the same distribution as the input data set, enabling data set padding, which improves downstream model performances. The goal of this paper is therefore to use a semantic diffusion model to generate new lung CT scans and evaluate its quality based on downstream model performance improvements, as well as image quality metrics such as the FID score. We use the Luna 16 dataset, which is a subset of the LIDC dataset. Luna 16 is originally an open challenge, which consists of 1,186 lung nodules annotated in 888 CT scans. The pre-processing stage involves generating segmentation masks of the lung scan slices to create nodule masks the nodules are first cropped spherically based on the centroid and diameter information from the provided Luna 16 annotations. A manual OTSU threshold is then applied to each crop region of interest to get the final masks. The intensity of the crop pixels are clustered using the k-means algorithms with two centers, and the threshold is selected as the average of these centers. Additionally, a body mask is also generated, which comprises the entire patient's body. The largest connected region is then selected. The final mask is then composed of these structures in this order, background, left lung, right lung, trachea, body mask, and nodule, if there is one. We then train the semantic diffusion model to generate synthetic 2D pulmonary CT slices and evaluate two downstream tasks with and without the mixture of synthetic and real samples. The two tasks are nodule detection and localization, both using the MM pre-train framework uh, to set up and train. The nodule detection task involves in determining whether a cropped 32 by 32 patch is a nodule or not and we choose to use the squeeze and excite ResNet as the architecture. The nodule localization tasks involve in locating the bounding box of the nodule on the slices, and we choose the faster RCNN as the architecture. All experiments are run for 10 folds, and test fold excludes synthetic image data if there's any. SPADE, which is a previous state-of-the-art method, has also been trained for comparison. The table on the right shows uh, relevant metrics and the numbers in bold highlights the highest metrics achieved across three different models. As seen in the table, SDM generated images have helped to achieve improvements of 3.96% uh, for detection accuracy and 8.5% uh, for AP, which is uh, stand for average position at the intersectional reunion level of 50% in nodule localization tasks. And the FID score of SDM generated images is much lower than those generated by SPADE. This slide shows a closer look at the images. From left to right are the original CT scan, the segmentation mask, the SDM generated images, and the SPADE generated images. As seen on the image, uh, the images generated by SDM, which is a uh, semantic diffusion model, has higher definition and finer details as well as structures compared to images generated by SPADE. As a result, SDM achieves better FID score than SPADE, but is also computationally more expensive. SDM generated images have helped to achieve improvements of 3.96% uh, for de detection accuracy and 8.5% for average precision at level of uh, intersection over union level of uh, 50% in nodule localization tasks. 
Feature work includes training the semantic diffusion model in 2.5D to perform 3D volume generation, as well as extending the mass class to include nodule malignancy. Thank you for watching my presentation. More details of the paper uh, can be accessed uh, through my poster or on the open review website. Thank you.